That's my invisible knot. As I explained on the uh, OU site, if I simply run the line directly around the tiny little motor shaft, which incidentally is much smaller than what Milo was using, um, the wheel will turn more slowly, but with more torque. Now, because of the timing capacitors in my stepper motor driver, those two little guys, those two little guys right there, they determine the clock speed of the 555 timer, which is producing the pulses for the driver chip itself, which is that one there. So in order to get the motor to turn faster than it is right there, I would have to actually replace those two little capacitors or use a different motor driver. So I hope you'll forgive me that I'm not showing the main wheel turning as fast uh, as it does with Milo's big motor and larger shaft. Uh, of course I could. I could change those capacitors for you and turn the wheel at just the same RPM as I was doing before. And here you can see that the wheel is turning slowly. And I can stop it with my hands and turn it backwards. That's okay. And the system doesn't blow up. It's turning slowly. It's turning slowly because I don't have the pulley on the motor and because I don't have the timing capacitors changed to a different value. If I change the timing capacitors, I could, I could do just the same thing. Don't make me change the timing capacitors to make the wheel go faster, okay? Because I can. By now you should believe me when I say these things, right? Okay, so we'll go back over here and we'll follow the line again. Just, oh, there's that invisible knot again. You can see how slowly the string is turning. Right. And uh, let's see if we can do a reversal. Okay, so there are the motors turning uh, clockwise as viewed from the top. So, let me get, to get it back in there. So now I'm going to flick the reversing switch there, and again there, and again there. Okay. Now this is really unfair because Milo's motor has a shaft at least as big around as my thumb and it's not a stepper it's just a regular motor as far as I can tell okay happy now Watts now I want you to notice something else about this string here where it approaches the wall I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not but I actually have it running slightly around a corner there's a, uh, maybe with more light here, there's a corner right there, and if you can see where the line is in my hand, you can see that it's actually touching the wall and going slightly around this corner uh, right there in order to make the path all the way out to the wheel. Okay, so thanks.